All right, time for the cookie butter shake. We already know how it tastes because last time we came here, we got it and it is phenomenal. Oh, cheers. Mm. Yo, if you ever had that like cookie butter, which I don't know if all the brands, but some of the brands, some of the brands that you get at a grocery store, the cookie butter is accidentally vegan. Like this literally tastes exactly like it in liquid form. Like exactly. With like a little bit of cinnamon, which they put on top. It's a uh, little gram of bear thing. Mm -hmm. Teddy grams? Mm -hmm. I was gonna say that too. Yeah. Holy moly, it is so freaking good. Vegan International Kitchen and Market. Vegan International Market and Company. Something like that. In Tampa, you gotta go. Like, you have to. If you're ever in this area, there's just nothing like it. And the hospitality of the whole thing, like we were just talking to the owner, she is like the sweetest thing ever. So now we are off to Whole Foods to spend a little gift card and to go bankrupt. Hey, it's my three year vegan anniversary. Okay, so I wanted to do a little haul of everything that we got today. That cookie butter shake, oops. That cookie butter shake is life. It really is. Okay. So as you saw, we went to Whole Foods and we went to the Asian market. Let's just, let's just really see. Let's just really get into everything. Got some, uh, a couple of really interesting items that I'm excited for. And then some not no new. Not so new items. Okay. All right, let's start with Whole Foods. The first thing that I saw, we weren't even in the freaking store yet, and I saw this. It is by the brand Divine, and it is a vegan chocolate advent calendar. Oh, 
It says vegan right there up top. It, they also contain no palm oil, which is awesome. Um, and yeah, we are on December 12th. However, I still got it because how do you say no to chocolate? Next thing I got is some vegan butter because we were all out. Fun fact, I tried making homemade vegan chocolate chip cookies and uh, I did not measure anything because I don't have any measuring cups or spoons. Needless to say, it came out disgusting. So uh, yeah, I ran out of butter. <laughs> this was um, by the brand Lundberg, samosa flavored potato chips, well, not potato chips, but like to tortilla chips. You know I love samosas. Hello, my name, Sunsets and Samosas. So I had to do that. The air just kicked on, sorry about that. We got two bags of Violife cheese. Cheddar Shreds, Violife is live. It's the best cheese in my opinion. Chow cheese was always my favorite until I tried Violife. That'll change your life. How many times do I say life? And then I needed some coffee creamer. So this was on sale for $1.99. It's by the brand So Delicious. And it is oat milk creamer in the flavor Snickerdoodle. And this stuff is so, so good. Love that. So fall and like holiday-esque. It really puts you in a good mood. And then the two things, the two last things that I got from Whole Foods that I'm so excited about is this. Just A. I have yet to try it. I feel like I'm the last vegan to try this. Just A. Made from plants, not chickens. I have big plans for that to make breakfast sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffins. Whew. McDonald's will be quaking. And then we went to the deli, which they have a. Abigail, can you get out of the Whole Foods bag, please? Went to the deli and they have a lot of vegan options in the deli. I took a little video, you saw. And so we tried both the tequila lime chicken and the Cajun crispy chicken. And we decided on half a pound of the vegan tequila lime chicken nuggets. These nuggets look so much similar to um, Chick-fil-A's, uh, like the mini chicken. These look a little dark, but like, so similar. Sorry, I ran out of memory. Oh, Half a pound came out to six seventy one, which is pretty good. How do you open it? This is what it looks like. Pretty good. Pretty good. Little pieces. I would bite it, bite into it and show you what the inside looks like, but uh, when I tell you I'm so full, I can't be bothered with eating anything else. But they are very tasty and the texture, the taste, it is all very similar to the real thing. Kind of freaky, but knowing that it's not actually from an animal, I feel okay. So that was everything from Whole Foods and then we went to the local Asian market and picked up some spring rolls. This is a pack of 20, full size. This is what they look full. That's the size of them. For $4.99, really good price. You know I had to do it. The whole reason I went there was to pick up my jajamyeon. Hello. Life. Jaja is life. Asian markets have a lot of unique and I guess uncommon fruits and vegetables. So I picked up a persimmon, which I heard so many good things about. I heard the taste of persimmons are just amazing. So picked one up. It's soft, but I think it needs to be a little bit softer. So I'll wait a couple days and probably do a taste test on camera. And then this is a Korean melon. So it's pretty hard. I mean, they all were. I don't know if it was supposed to be soft, but melons usually aren't soft. So this is what it looks like. That is everything I got. Oh, also from Whole Foods, I've been drinking it. It's the Health Aid Kombucha in the flavor Holiday Cheer, which I mean, one, I was super thirsty and wanted a drink. And two, look at the bottle. So aesthetic, love that. So that is everything. We are back home now. It's about five o'clock and yeah, just going to Relax for the rest of the day and 
I will probably show you guys when I open up the advent calendar and see what chocolate we have for today. I'm excited, but again, I am so full. We have some leftover mac and cheese from Vegan International. That place is so good. And yeah, it made my whole vegan anniversary special today. I will see you guys when we open up the advent calendar. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick taste test. This is what my plate's looking like. Normally, not gonna lie, um, everything is usually doubled, but I am still kind of full from today's festivities. So this is what it's looking like. Piece of the chicken. That is the chicken. Tequila lime chicken nuggets. We're just gonna give it a little taste test. I heated it up. I heated it back up in my air fryer. And yeah. Can you see? Let me see. There you go. It's made of wheat and soy. I'm not really sure what other ingredients are in it, but super flavorful, very tasty. Hi, baby girl. Abby, can you say hi? Can you say hi? Nope. But yeah, now it's time to eat dinner and watch some TV. Mmm. Yeah, how do they do it? That is really tasty. Mm. It's like chewy, but like in a good way. Mm. All right, I think that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I definitely had an amazing day celebrating my three year anniversary for being vegan. It feels good and hopefully I can inspire one or two of you to do the same. Veganuary is right around the corner and got some things up my sleeve, so stay tuned for that. But I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are in this lovely world, and I will see you very soon. Bye!